Hi everybody, it's Hannah here with another video and I'm going to do like a story time that I'm going to read off of like kind of what I have, kind of have been doing lately that you guys are kind of observing I think, I hope, I don't know but when I'm recording this thank you for the 108 subscribers it means a lot to me and thank you for hitting the subscribe button and it means the world to me so yeah, we're going, I'm going to do like a 911 like operator kind of story. It's called I was a 911 op, operator, operator. You won't believe what the horrible thing, things I've heard. And if you like this kind of video, please like, please subscribe if you want to see see or hear more videos like this and yeah if you guys have any recommendations of stories that you want me to read or just videos in general for me to make feel free to comment below because I love to see see them excuse me and I hope you enjoy one Thursday evening I answered a ring phone noting the call was waiting as 15 seconds 911, do you need an officer, fire, or medical? I panicked. Man began to tell me that there was a sup 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 suspicious person in front of his residence yelling for help. The caller heard through his door doors peephole and said, the subject was bleeding all over his porch and yelling that he had been stabbed. I upgraded the call to Orange Urgent and asked it asked all the questions what good op operator would where when weapons I sent all the calls for the police and medical this match and kept the caller on the line for updates. I asked whether he was willing to willing up willing to go out front to help the bleeding man out right in front of him. The caller said he didn't feel comfortable. How about now? I asked. What is he doing? doing now? Is he yelling? What is he seeing? The caller, the caller, my questions to the caller, my questions may have seemed redundant or a waste of time. When some someone calls 911, they are often frantic. They don't realize all the correlations that has happened to send need to help. For example, I never spoke to a police with I've never spoke with police in an ambulance dismantler directly. Instead I typed everything into our computer aid dismatch system. More informal help me add insistence and injuries to my notes. When the ambulance arrived, I thanked the caller for his help and hanged up. I inhaled and take a deep breath and glanced to the clock. At the clock, I was still on the opening for ten, ten hour shift. I took a sip of coffee and turned back in, on, into the phone. A few moments, a few of the phone's lines were already ringing. This week, a 911 op operator in Albers something MN made news and not a good kind. Operator, op it, uh, operator Matthew S. took a call from 17 year old Experina, some different name from another country I'm guessing, who was a friend who had been shot. 
the call ended you brutally off after the last name of the person such with Q crush crushed him in a moment of frustration I'm not going to deal with this okay uh, Mr. S. Matthew Matthew said before hanging up. I in situations like these people are quick to judge, but I'm sapathic of of course the way Sam something S-A-N-C-H-E-Z, that's the, the name, handled the call, was completely unmarkable, cold, heartless, and in, un, in, and in direct violation of his primer function as an emergency operator, but it, I would be lying to you if I said that operator, operators never came complete after repeating exposure to death. I never witnessed a death with my eyes, but my ears have lifetime stories. When I first became a 911 oper operator, sorry, I can't, little, for the Central Florida Law Enforcement Agent in not, not 2009, the, op, the job seemed a perfect fit for a college student like me because of flexible uh, where am I? flexible hours. I was purchasing a degree in psychology and knew it had it would like would let me develop and practice counseling skills. And the idea of being a 911 operator, operator filled me with proposal, propose and satisfaction. Uh, three years later, the scene of purpose has had had been bold by thousands of calls, but about noises, disruptions, and. Vigilance, civil, depo deposed, and cell phones, but dials. I can tell you the number of times. Number of times, I had short conversations that started as missed dials or can you give me the number to every mo every moment that I felt like making a difference. To, to a great full community community there were 10 calls were where I cru cruised at call terrible names and or turned into an outlet for civil who civilians who wanted to vent there were there were a exhausting heart wearing conversations I re I had with people who loved ones were close to death. A woman whose whose mother went to cardiac arrest while they were driving home from her father's funeral. A mother who found her two-year-old at the bottom bottom of the pool. The screams from callers who'd found a member hanging themselves in, in the room. These were graphic horrifying hor horrifying of people worst nightmares and I knew every detail. I spent non working hours feeling anxious and or paranoid. After three years I grew
I grew fearful that I would have nothing left to give to anyone outside of work, friends, family, or my fiance. I had taken a class in abnormal psychology to learn that there there were terms that for what I experienced vicarious trauma uh, di uh, di distress emotional fig I knew I needed to step back and do some self-care. Not everyone in professional professional is a forgiving. There is a mandatory psychology evaluation before you start your job, but counseling forward is all optional. Although operations were encouraged to go through the painfully after a particle different call, call most operators didn't. You don't want your peers or especially your boss to question whether you can handle the, your job. Few people actually talk about real struggles to balance empathy, empathy and protection, protecting your heart against the pain of re repeating dramatic, dramatic exposure. Operators wear you. I can work fields as many as 80 calls a day. The truth is that when it comes to facing trauma, we can't. We tell emergency operators across the country to deal with it yourself every day. Matthew had been working as an oper operator for three years before talking to tr Tragic Call from that fancy name. So that's the last name starts with a Q. I wonder how different differently that call would have been if he had been trained to simp 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 of emotion figure. Perhaps he wouldn't have been better at caring for others if he had learned to care about him for himself. And that is the story. So I hope you enjoyed this video or in story. If you do, please like, please subscribe, and I will see you next time.